Clark, thanks so much for the time. We appreciate you joining us. We just, first and foremost, we want to know what's the process for you when the off season begins until spring training gets underway? Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> from year to year, I feel like it's changed a little bit, um, especially with, uh, you know, when you're in the minor leagues, I think the season ends about, I mean, if you include this postseason and kind of like the expanded season that we've had this year, I feel like uh, you probably lose about a month and a half or around a month. Um, so this year, I think uh, workouts started up a little bit quicker. Um, I took about uh, a week off from lifting um, and, and took about three to four weeks off from throwing. Um, and then it's kind of just building back up into that progression and, and, and starting to set yourself with a good baseline to, to set yourself up for a, for a good and healthy season. I think um, last year I had a really, really good routine as far as like off season regimen and, and throwing and um, my lifting program, my yoga and all the other stuff that I incorporated in the off season. I think um, it really set me up to have a healthy year last year. And um, obviously that showed being able to have a full healthy season, which I was, you know, that was one of my number one goals was to be able to go out there and have a full sample size. So, um, I think, you know, just continuing that routine and, and staying on the right track is, is what I'm doing this year. And I, I'm feeling very, very healthy from a, a health perspective this year. And I'm excited to get to camp with, with the way I'm feeling. What have the Yankees told you about your stuff, like internally, because mm -hmm. you are really driven by the analytics. What, what comes off the paper? What pops Clark when they tell you stuff about you and what do you take into the lab? You know, obviously there's, there's things that stand out. Um, as far as like my pitch package goes, uh, I would have to say, obviously the slider that I throw is, is pretty unique and, and something that I've, uh, I just started last year was the first full year that I started throwing it. So from a development standpoint, as far as the slider goes, I think, um, you know, I'm excited to continue to throw it. And I think it's going to take another leap this year, just being able to have that more comfortability with it and more, uh, being able to use it more and being able to understand the, the break and stuff on that. And so I think that and my sinker, are obviously my two, my two standout pitches and, um, those are the pitches that metrically uh, kind of jump off the board as far as myself. Um, and I think just continuing to, and obviously the curveball and, and the changeup, I think continuing to refine those things. Um, you know, going into the off season, um, we had a really, as far as myself, I had a really, really successful year getting right-handed hitters out um, at a consistent clip. Um, and I think the left-handed, being able to get more lefties out at a consistent rate kind of lowers some of that uh, exit velos and, and the contact quality. Um, that's one of my goals this year. And so kind of refining my pitch packages and, um, you know, working on small things, whether it be mechanically or um, pitch uh, grip adjustments and stuff like that, I think uh, can really help me, you know, be able to get lefties out at a more consistent rate. And so it's been, it's been fun being able to incorporate that into my off season and have something to kind of like, you know, strive for and, and really work in and hone in on. Um, so it's been very productive so far. You mentioned your health and you were able to stay healthy all season long last year. And, you know, you had success as a starter and out of the bullpen as a reliever. How do you take that success that you had this past season and kind of multiply that into the years to yeah. come? You learn a lot. I think, you know, the major league season, this was my first, you know, full major league season where, you know, I, I was up in the big leagues pretty much for the vast majority of the year. Um, and just, you learn a lot, whether it's like the travel, the, the day to day, the monotonous stuff that you're doing throughout the season, it's a long year. So, um, there's things that you learn, um, even like facing different hitters and advanced hitters, like ways to get guys out and, and, at a consistent rate um, is something that you're constantly learning. So um, being able to take this this last year that I had and, and being able to to kind of use that as a stepping stone for, for my future has been huge, you know? Um, it's almost like my next year is like my sophomore year. It's like, you know, I've already learned. It's like when you come into to school as a freshman, it's like you're learning, you're feeling things out. Um, you don't really know what to expect. Um, and that's kind of how this past year was. So it was really just like a learning curve for me and um, a lot of new experiences, a lot of new, um, opportunities and uh, opportunities for growth. I think like, you know, there's times where I had a lot of success this year and there's times where I, I came up short and I failed. And um, a lot of that, it just helps me as a player and, and helps me continue to grow as a person. And so, um, you know, I'm excited. I, I'm always been that kid who's always taking things on the chin. So, um, you know, it's just all these things that uh, culminate to use for motivation and continue to find bits and pieces to, to refine my craft and, and continue to get better for the next year. So I'm really, really excited to get back out there. To that end, how much did it mean getting into the postseason and getting your feet wet for the first time mm -hmm. with the Yankees in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was it was a it's a blessing to be able to to wear the pinstripes every day. It's something that um, you know a lot of kids dream about. Even myself, growing up, it's like 
it's almost pretty surreal to be, to be in these, to have these opportunities. And so, um, you know, going out there my first year, it's like, you really don't know what to expect. And, you know, people can kind of tell you things and, and prepare you and, and however way they, they try, but you don't really know what it's like until you're, you're kind of thrown into the fire, um, which is kind of how I like it. I like to be thrown in the fire. And obviously, um, you know, I sit, I hold myself to a very high standards and high expectations. And I, I fell short of like kind of the expectations I set for myself as far as like, you know, what results wise and what I wanted to accomplish in the playoffs. And I think, um, in the long run, I'll probably look back on this and, and, and uh, see it as it was a, it was something that, you know, motivated me and um, continue to push me and made me grow as a player and as a person. Um, because, you know, a lot of times you're going to fail in this game and, and there are a lot of times you're going to have success, but I think those moments when you, you learn your most about yourself, when you're kind of you're going through it and going through the thick of it. And so to be able to have that opportunity and have those experiences and know um, kind of what to expect for the next time out and, um, and for the future, it's like, you know, th those environments are kind of hard to repeat and kind of hard to explain unless you're, you're kind of involved in it. Um, but it was, it was such a blessing to be able to be a part of it. Um, and as a player, you know, I'm excited to be able to take those experiences and, and grow after it. And, and I'm, I'm very excited to, you know, to hopefully be back in that fire again this year. All right. We have one more for you before we let you go. And since the mm -hmm. national championship game is tonight and you're a huge yep. football fan, you, you yeah. grew up in Georgia. Mm -hmm. But you went to South Carolina. So who are you pulling for tonight in the game? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. I like, so I grew up a Georgia fan my whole entire life. I grew up a, a UGA fan. I'm a Falcons fan. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I'm a fan. Of, growing up, I was a fan of Atlanta sports. So um, I would have to say, you know, going to South Carolina, it's like I'm at a crossroads, you know, trying to root for the, a, a different team in the SEC, especially in the SEC East. But I'm going to have to go with the dogs, man. I, you know, I, I find myself support. <laughs> it's obviously easy to support them when, when they're at the uh, winning at a clip that they do right now. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a fun team to root for. I think, um, you know, they, they got a really good team. So I'll, I'll be rooting for them tonight. And I think, uh, I don't know. I mean, last last game, I thought they were going to blow Ohio State out, but they made it a they made it a close one. So I think uh, I think this one they kind of they break away a little bit, but we'll see. I mean, I know uh, I I, sh I need to shoot a text to Carpenter. I think uh, you know he's a big TCU guy, so <laughs> me and him would always talk about football throughout the year, and he was always telling me how good TCU was, and so uh, maybe I need to hop on that bandwagon tonight.